Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Uh, time once again for my cast, and um, there's going to be some moving parts in this one. So, very, get ready for a few mistakes to be made and stuff. So, it was just, it was just some more videos, for more uh, images and whatnot that I want to get out. So, so there's some. There's going to be a little bit of video to go with the audio. Uh, but otherwise, the, uh, the music... Um, I only got this because it was in the upper left corner of my YouTube recommendations. The closest thing I could find, the first thing I found that was Dungeon Synth. Um, there's, um, there's actually another genre. I don't, I don't know the specific name of it, but uh, a lot of it's from a band called Paleo Wolf. Um, it's a lot of like, if you've ever played World of Warcraft, um, the, the kind of music they play on there, the real, the real orcish, the real orcish kind of, kind of sound, just lots of, you know, that kind of thing, just a little primal, for lack of a better word, primal and shamanic, um, but I would love to have played some of their music, but the problem is, is all of their videos, or all their, th yeah, all their videos have animation on them, which is really going to jack up the file size on this, so I had to go with this one instead. Um, this is Sleeping Corpse, uh, Forgotten Times, uh, full split, whatever that is, but Dark Ambient Dungeon Synth. I only heard, like, the first minute or so, I'm like, okay, it sounds okay, or it sounds passable for the moment. But, uh, I am gonna need to sound test this. Okay, so, um, one, one big thing, and I, I'm actually kind of doing this out of order, so I kind of messed up here, but anyway, um, one thing I started doing, uh, recently is I've been adding, um, uh, like, during streams, um, I've, um, uh, I've started making use of my, of the hotkey feature, I'll probably explain more about this later on, but, uh, but I've started, um, uh, I'll start popping up like, like various images and stuff. Like if uh, if something goes bad, I'll 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 shoot up an image of Charlie Brown going fuck, you know that kind of thing. I don't I don't have it with me. I I think I deleted it just because uh because my OBS are is it has a too it has too many buttons now and it's starting to get confusing. So I got rid of it. But um one thing I also incorporated doing is um little video clips um kind of like this one here but the weird part about this though is uh, on my obs i um it shows that it comes in just fine but uh i can't hear it at all okay so sound check but yeah like i said um but on my OBS, it so it it's telling me that the sound works just fine. And in fact, when I play the video, when I when I did a test video, when I played it back, it shows that the sound actually works. But but again, I can't hear it at all in my in my uh, headphones. So what I'll probably have to do is um next time I stream, I'll um I'll give um I'll. Probably the first person that comes on, I'll probably test it out on them and see if they can hear it. Um, if they can, okay, fine, great. Then I, I guess I just won't be hearing it through my headphones. Uh, but if not, then I'm gonna have to figure something else out because for the longest time, for the longest time, I was using a soundboard. In fact, uh, I could probably pull it up right quick. But um, like the uh, like the little uh, video clip you just saw. Like like that one there. Um, I think uh, another one I got a video clip on, but I don't have with me. Uh oh, retard alert! 
Um, I've got that one. Uh, but like, but like I said, um, I don't know what the deal is with them. Um, because when I'm on the video playback and uh, on my OBS uh, sound meter thingy, it it shows that it comes in just fine. But again, uh, to reiterate, I can't hear it through my headphones, so I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, so next time I stream, I'll have to ask the first person that comes up. But yeah, but, um, because using a soundboard, if there's a certain sound I want at a certain time, I have to switch from my current window to my soundboard window, click the sound button, and then get back to the game. And that... I mean that take. I mean that takes up a lot of. That you know, by the time I get there, I might be out of the moment. So. So being able to have these on, being able to, being able to have these on, have the clips on hotkeys, is going to be a lot faster. I can just go ahead and do that. I can just go ahead and do that. You know, and on top of that too. This doesn't cause my video to hang either. Because, uh... And, uh, I think I'm... I'll have to check and see later on if I have it. If I still have it in my, my OBS subcategory. But... But just, just been working on that. And, uh, I probably will go into more detail on all this later on. But otherwise, uh, Gems of War, been playing a fair amount of it, and off and on, off stream, I've been, or off stream, off and on, I've been playing it as well. Um, one of my regulars, his name's DJ Screw. Some time ago, he turned me on to another, to a, to another group, to another team. It's basically centered on. It's meant for. And I actually made a YouTube, and if I remember to upload it, Twitch, but I made a video about this, but it's designed to play on difficulty one, the lowest difficulty there is, but it's meant to kill the other team in one go. And um, I think I say this in my video too, but it looks like the way it works. Oh, here, I'm taking a drink. Hold on. Oh, um, and um. I want to be quick about this, but I've completely phased out V8 energy drinks, and I'm now drinking Arizona green tea. Uh, specific, specifically, zero. It's the uh, sugar-free stuff. But anyway, it's um, it's centered around it's centered around any matches, just like that, like within one or two turns. And uh, I also learned, and I think. Screw told me this some time ago too that uh, the XP you get and the uh, the loot you get like uh, I mean except for maybe the trophies, the gold you get, and I think um, I think the souls, they're uh, they're currency you use to upgrade your character to level or to level up your uh, your your team members. Um, they're the only ones that really that change. But as far as gaining like class experience, like um, your your main character, you can equip a class like Titan, Thief, Archmage, etc. Um, each one of those, you don't you get XP. I actually tested this. I think no matter which difficulty or which content you fight in, you will only get one XP point. So. So, um, so this new build that I've been playing with, it's, I'm, I'm seeing it. It, no matter which battle I do, no matter how difficult, I only get one experience point for my class. I think there were, um, there were, uh, I think other various drops, other various drops are like this too. Like the drop rate is, is always going to be the same. No matter how, no matter, no matter the tier of items that drop. It's always the rate, the rate and the quality is always going to be the same. So I believe that's what this build was centered on. Just getting the, uh, it's, it, it's mat, it's a mat farming build. 
that's the phrase I was looking for. Yeah, it's it's a mad farming build. So again, it's again with the exception of uh, with the exception of gold and souls, which again they're used to they're used to level up your characters to level them up. With the exception of those two, everything else is is I might be wrong, but fixed. You always get the same amount. You know, the drop rates and the quality of those drops, they're all fixed. You know, it's what the difficulty of the battles you're fighting doesn't matter. So So with that in mind, um I cause uh I uh, I equipped a new class for my main guy, uh it's a thief. Um Screw said something about a about a uh, about a mythic item that you get when you win 250 battles. So uh, I just I'm thinking, hmm, you know, why don't I just why don't I just uh why don't I just use this one shot team man instead? You know, we're gonna go with uh go with quantity rather than quality. So I just started doing that. But I but I didn't. I didn't do it like, I mean, I wasn't playing like a fiend or anything. You know, there was, you know, I'd still, punct, you know, I was still punctuating these brief sessions with like, um, difficulty 12 stuff or going to do some PvP, that kind of thing. So, cause yeah, it, doing it this, doing it the uh, one shot method, it gets grindy as hell. So, it gets pretty mind numbing. So, gotta have my challenges every so often. Um. Okay, and and I've been kind of remiss in doing this. It's been a long time since I did a behind the scenes section, but mostly because I haven't really learned a whole lot up until recently. One big thing I learned was um the uh, art of using hotkeys. I um I kind of gave up on using them back when I played uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Most. The big reason being is because with uh, Final Fantasy XIV, I used a lot of hotkeys. Um, yeah, because my pretty much most, if not all, of my keyboard was nothing but a series of hotkeys. Because it, it's one of the it was uh, it's one of the cool things about Final Fantasy XIV is and and I guess uh, I think World of Warcraft as well. I think Guild Wars 2, and I'm pretty sure a lot of those other MMOs is, uh, it's very customizable. I mean, you can hotkey the living hell out of your keyboard, which is what pretty much what I did for Final Fantasy XIV. So, the problem with that is, is, uh, the hotkeys, the hotkeys in the game will overlap with the hotkeys in OBS. Meaning, uh, it, it would cause a lot of undesirable effects, like it would, uh, I would act I would hit Alt F1, and it would literally stop my stream. It would shut. It would cut off my stream. That kind of thing. So, so I couldn't really. I had to stop using hotkeys, or I had to stop using OBS hotkeys during my Final Fantasy XIV streams. So, to avoid the overlap. But now that I'm playing Gems of War, where I think I use next to no hotkeys at all. Um, I've, uh, I've taken up starting to use them now, and I don't know how well you can see it, but, uh, two of those hotkeys that I've added to OBS, the, uh, the runaway animation, or the runaway clip and the retard alert clip, um, I've added those, and, um, and one cool thing about this, though, I had to actually, again, I forgot to add this, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I have it. I have it. Um, I have to mention this first, cause. But um, whenever I'm adding an actual, when I'm actually adding video from my computer to OBS, I have to I have to set it up like this. Sorry for the redundancy, but it'll close file when inactive. I have to have that box checked. 
And on top of that, um, if you can see the yellow source must be turned off. This is something that I had to do manually up until recently. Um, whenever I was doing a pseudo cast and I wanted to show a video clip from my computer, I had to make I had to remember to shut that off immediately afterwards. Otherwise, if I don't, and by the time the cast finishes and I go to stop recording, it won't stop. And that basically means all my effort making that cast has been ruined because if I because I have to I have to actually go to my task manager and turn off the OBS process. That's the only way I can get it to stop recording. Because OBS still thinks that the video clip is running. And I can't go in and turn the sort I can't go in and turn the source off and then stop recording. And then try to try it again. It won't work. So But um one thing I did learn is uh as well as having, you know, the closed file one in active box checked, check the box above it as well. Um, hide source when playback ends because it it does work that way um, so because so yeah like I said they both work together and I can I can actually start I can start making my own video clips now and then I can go ahead and hotkey them and then just talk uh, use them whenever I need to during my stream and it's a lot faster to do that than to have to actually go actually switch windows to the soundboard click find find you know find the sound or find the appropriate sound click it and then head back to the game so using hotkeys now is going to be tons faster and um and I forgot to mention this too, but um, you can't see it right now because the um, there's a there's a window there's a behind this window here this hockey window. Um, you can go to your uh, there's subcategories of your or if you look at the lower left corner where it says scenes the column there. Okay, those are the cat. Those are the uh, categories. If I wanna, if I'm streaming, if you can see there, I'll click the stream source and and then behind this hotkey window, there's gonna be a whole bunch of subcategories called sources. And uh, you can name those sources to whatever you want. Um, I've taken the for the uh, for the runaway and retard alert clips. I've actually uh, written. I've actually typed down the hotkeys that you use onto the source descriptions themselves and just read them off because I won't be I won't know these by heart until I start doing them over and over and over so but and uh and at the same time too I don't want to dive into this with both feet I only want to start with like one or two at a time the ones that I the ones that I'm probably going to make heavy use of and go with those and then gradually add more here and there it's Kind of the same thing I did with uh, Final Fan with uh, yeah Final Fantasy fourteen and all the other MMOs that have hotkeys. But there I kind of I kind of just laid out all the hotkeys that I thought I was going to use, and then just kind of cut and trim from there. You know, take you know just take and keep what worked and get rid of the rest. So it's kind of an inverted method. This time around, I'm starting small and then working my way out. So, but yeah, like like I said, I I just opened a whole host of possibilities on here with my stream. But again, uh, this is all gonna hinge to on uh, um, when I stream next. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna test these two out on the on the first regular that talks to me. Um, and if if he can hear these, then great. I'm going forward with it then. But if not, then I'm gonna have to figure something else out. But yeah, um, for those that were, were kind of late to the party, um, when I first started doing these, or when I first started uh, adding uh, video elements to my audio, this is something that I started doing as well. I just, I like, I want to be able to tell people how I did what I did. 
it, it just, you know, it just kind of, it just wouldn't feel right otherwise. But for a while, I hadn't really learned anything new. So, so it's been a while since I've done one of these, but now that I learned something new about doing these kind of things, yeah, this is definitely coming up. But like I said, like I said, this is, when I first started adding video to audio, I included a behind the scenes seconds to show everybody how I did it. And, um, it, and it's also, I also kind of did it as a, as a subtle way to maybe motivate somebody else if they ever wanted to do something like this. If they ever, you know, to show that, you know, here's how, you know, here's how I'm doing it. And it's, if you, if you look at it, it's not really that difficult. And, you know, I'm stumbling, you know, I'm stumbling over the hurdles too, you know, like I'm sure a lot of other these uh, content creators are doing, they're making their mistakes. You know, but, um, one difference, one difference is, is, uh, I'm, I'm trying to show. I really don't want to say the word because it's so damn overused, but I'm trying to show the evolution behind, you know, the whole process that I'm taking to get to where I am. So. Okay, but I, I pretty much, uh, babbled on enough. Okay, but otherwise, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. Um, I gotta, I gotta get to um, uploading this and getting it processed and all that. Um, but yeah, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'm on vacay this week, so um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then. Thanks again for coming by, everyone, and see you all next time. Take care.